the chimney um, and then I'm not going to cut this off here because if it ever gets want to be used again um, they'll put a flue liner up it so I'm going to leave it open I'm going to cap it off at the top um, a bit of kerchief there really isn't it and just bring this with up uh, oh, Monday and it's raining again Russ is moaning why are you moaning Russ because you're getting wet and we need a tin hat look at him <laughs> oh fuck you know we need a tin hat over the tin hat that's what we need oh dear um Right, I want a chimney refurb here now, we're up here in it. Oh, I don't know, fucking job. Right, let me show you what's happened here. I'm on my phone, this is why it looks a bit weird. Um, here, we've got a 10 inch flue and a 9 inch hole. And everything else is capped off. Uh, obviously, it's ridiculous what they've done there. Look at the size of that perp. Um, me coming across with these... Uh, metric bricks <coughs> excuse me I've got man flu again you know I'm going to have to put closures in it so what we decide what I've decided I'm going to do I'm going to bring that in flaunch it up you won't see that time to get the flashing round and that, that that'll all be hidden we're going to reduce the size of let me just quickly explain what Russell's doing um, he's put the face you're on before the soffit Russ why did you do that give you something to fucking film Ah, good. <laughs> Friday, that come round quick, didn't it? Uh, done a negative test on the COVID last night, so we're all right there. A bit chesty, but that's all right. Uh, right, where we at? Yesterday, I've got this chimney up. Uh, to the height with deep ECs going in, got lead deep EC going in. Um, but step flashing all raked out from there, ready to go. <coughs> that finishes there just above the ridge, that last one, and then this goes in here, the deep EC, so it don't interfere with it. Uh, what happened was the roofer was supposed to do this yesterday, but we never the lead never come till late afternoon and he'd already gone. Um, he's a decent roofer, he knows what he's doing with the lead work and that so i've got to do it um there's no flue liner here because i just said before it was a 10 inch flue line and nine inch hole and we're just leaving this open so in the future if anyone wants to put a flexible steel liner up there they can um so normally your flue liner would come up and uh, there'd be lead around it and that'll be welded all the way around so it's all, all sealed in but that's not happening here um, we're just going to get that in and I'm going to dress it up um, rather than down because if you dress it down there's still a chance of capillary action going through it ain't going to happen but you know if we're going to do it let's try and do it properly uh, and I've got no lead burning gear or anything like that um, so it's going to be a little bit of silicone just to make sure but uh, yeah it gets the job done so uh, someone dropped the lead it's damaged all down that side so I'm going to cut it and then uh, spin it round so we've got a decent side here at least I don't know what's happening here but I might as well make the effort so yeah let me sort this out and we'll, I'll show you what we're doing Right, that's the tray down. Um, I've turned it down here, so that's how it goes. Um, I'm leaving this, it's better when the brickwork's built and it's gone off. The roofer said he wanted to do this anyway, 
uh, so I'm not sure if he's just going to um, ear them down, bend them down in an ear or cut them and weld them uh, make a decent job but that's not my problem I can get on if you like that um, this is all done um, that's turned up wrapped round here uh, so any water does go in you know it can't get down the chimney the only thing is this should all be welded um, but I ain't got no welding gear in I'm not doing it so it's just going to get built but this is nothing nothing to go through there we've done the right thing really so yeah get this up uh, go home hopefully I think I've got seven calls on here I think there's ten all together all right I'll have a cup of tea get back and uh, crack on okay um, this is the general gist of it then uh, oh. Leads in, all built round, tucked in. Um, yeah, that's the best we can do. I silicone all the way round the outside there because we couldn't weld it. That stopped anything getting in. But yeah, that's a sound job, I think. Uh, we'll get this up. We've got another course on here. It's ten course off the ridge, and then Monday, um, then big bubbers have to go on. I'm not putting them on today. Give a chance to go off. Um, Russell, what are you doing? Don't know what you're doing. Pass. Pass. He don't know what he's doing. Uh, I've seen him doing a lot of putting pins in yeah. and then taking them out. Is that because well, you, normal procedure, isn't yeah, it? Is that because you're done. doing it wrong? No. It's the custom the joists are in the wrong position and the it's, nails. The nails can be moved, joists, the rafters can't. Oh, that's what that's See? Oh dear. You died, don't I? Uh, right, right, we'll get this up. Uh, yeah.
Fucking Christmas fucking songs. Yeah. Round there on the on the uh, trials, I need two lengths of L shape to join up. Oh, more muck. I need more muck. How many bricks in that stack? This is the uh, finished article, nearly. Got coping stones to go on it yet. Uh, oh, it's good enough for up here, isn't it? I think. Right. Cut Couple more blocks to go in here, which I'll do Monday when we put the coping stones on, so I'm out of muck. And I'm going down the pub, I've had enough. Uh, yeah, it's done. We're done. Right, next week, Monday, I'm here. Get these coping stones on. And I've got a bit of block work to do down there to square up. All that shit all over it, but anyway, no big deal. We'll sort it out. And then Tuesday, we're starting this new extension. Um, it, it'd be a good one for, you know, some of you young fellas uh, just starting off, want to learn a few things, especially with extensions. They're different than new builds. There's a lot more things to get over with. And there's quite a few things, interesting things to get over on this one. And uh, I'll show you how you do it. Uh, hopefully it's not going to rain next week. So, should have a nice week. Right, enjoy the weekend. Hopefully I will do. Mrs. ain't too well yet. She's still, still um, showing positive. Um, so, yeah, not good, is it? All right, see you later. Here, yeah, look at this. Mick gave me a pair of boots a while back. He said, someone give it to him. He said, I don't want them. He said, do you have them? And I forgot all about them and uh, I found them the other day. I thought, oh, I fucking wear them. They're not steals, but I wear them to work. They're not fake Dr. Martins. They'd be comfortable. I only had them on a day. Look at this. <laughs> They're going in the skip. Both pairs and all. Look. How do you have to pay money for them? They're only wearing them once and afterwards. They're the right fucking up, aren't they? Right. See you later. Still here, loungewear on, um, glass of alcohol, uh, waiting for a fish supper, 
And the England game, don't get much better, does it, in winter? Um, someone contacted me, a fella called Mr Smith, I don't know who he is, and he edited a bit of my, one of my videos and put it on TikTok. Uh, and it's very good, and it's gone sort of semi-viral, um, which I'm quite shocked about. Uh, it's called, if you're on TikTok, well, obviously most of you on TikTok, aren't you? Um, Brickies, B-R-I-C-K, well, I'll start that again. B-R-I-C-K-I-S, Rant, Brickies Rant. Have a look, quite amusing. Right, that's it, I'm out of here now. Oh, fuck you know. Muck's all stiff. No water up here, no one here. Gone down Juicens to get some wheat bowls. Oh, I reckon they've gone in the calf. Be a bricklayer, they said. You'll make loads of money. Go self employed, you won't pay any tax. Yeah, get a little escort van, they said. You'll be able to do all your privates the weekend.